In the last video, I offered a visual way to explain how the slope in simple linear regression is calculated. Now, before we step up into new dimensions to explain multiple regression, we need to first clear up some basics. So here, I will talk about linear regression in the broader context of linear algebra. For simplicity, let's assume for now that there are only three points on the graph. We want to find a line that passes through all three points and plug in all of the coordinates. This means that all of these three linear equations should be satisfied. Let's focus on these three equations. Each of them is a linear equation with two unknowns. This brings us to the good old graph that we're all familiar with. Three beautiful lines living in 2D space. However, the coordinates are not x and y now, but instead beta naught and beta. This is a little unusual and may take some time to wrap your head around. But you can think of each point on this graph to correspond to a unique line in a totally different world, the xy coordinate space. Actually, it is better to visualize the beta naught beta pair not as a point, but as a vector. You will see why this is important later. The three lines right here have no common intersection point. In other words, there's no point that all three lines pass through. So, there are no solutions to the original system of equations. This corresponds to the fact that we cannot find a line that simultaneously goes through all of the three points on the plot. Actually, it is possible for all of the points to be perfectly aligned on a straight line, in which case we will find an exact solution to the system of equations but this is usually not the case in any practical applications. Anyway, since we have more equations than unknowns, we have what's called an overdetermined system of equations, and there are usually no solutions in this case. However, there is a notion of a closest solution to the system. This closest solution is the vector beta naught hat beta hat, which are the coefficients for the regression line that I discussed last time. And we obtain this vector by solving what's called the normal equations, which I would say is one of the most important equations in linear algebra. The idea is to reorganize the system of equations into matrix form, and then multiply each side of the equation by the transpose of that matrix. If you carry out the computations purely algebraically, the matrix equation comes down to a system of two linear equations, which you will be able to solve for. To understand it geometrically though, we can think of these non-square matrices as linear transformations. In the next chapter, I will guide you through the solution to the normal equations. And before going into that, you will need to have a solid understanding of linear transformations, and in particular, linear transformations from 3D space to 2D space. If any of these concepts seem rusty, now is the time for you to go watch or review Three Blue, One Brown's fantastic video series, The Essence of Linear Algebra. See you then!